Hey everyone, real quick, hit that subscribe button down below. There's a lot of you watching this video right now that are not subscribed. It helps me out, it helps you out, that way you don't miss a beat. That's why you get to know when I'm in your city, when I'm in your country, because I want to meet you. I want you to come meet me. So please, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get to the rest of the video. Welcome to Johan's show, very special edition. Why? Because we're having Mexican food in Toronto, Ontario, here at Comali Canela. So here I am with the owner, Miss Yasmin herself. Miss Yasmin is going to actually walk us through what we have in front of us, because what we have is essentially the most, we'll say, popular, authentic, and delicious items they have on their menu. So, Miss Yasmin. Hi. What do we have in front of us here? Well, uh, we have our appetizer, which is our chunky guac and chips. Then we have our tampiqueña. Yeah. Tampiqueña. Yeah. So our chunky guac and chips is made when the person orders it, so it's very fresh. Okay. Um, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> it is. Uh, and then we have our tampiqueña, which is made with cecina. Cecina is thinly sliced beef that is salted and sun cured. We make it less salty than it's traditionally made and uh, we finish it off on the flat grill. Mm. It's very soft and tender cut of beef and it comes accompanied with pureed black beans, nice. Mexican red rice and simple enchiladas. Refritos? No. no. No? Just pureed? Yes, sir. Nice. nice. Yeah, we, we don't, uh, we don't use an overabundance of oil in our food. Okay, cool. We have this, this right is here. our quesadilla. I like our this. quesadilla is uh, deep fried and it's made from fresh nixtamal masa dough. So we don't use maseca. We actually um, soak our, uh, oh, I'll show you. Okay. We get a dinner and a show today. So we actually take the dry maize okay. and at night we soak it, we cook it in slaked lime and we let it uh, uh, soak overnight. In the morning we rinse it out and we put it in our lava stone mill. Uh, and then once it's ground, it, we have fresh next to masada, which we use to make the quesadillas and our soapings. Damn, I yeah. like it. So then we have a giant soap right here, right, as well. Yeah. This thing's literally giant. I've only ever seen them like, the like that ones. big. Yeah, yeah. The little ones. This yeah. one's huge. Yeah. So then again, the base is made from fresh nixtamal masa dough, nice. and there's a bed of uh, pureed black beans. This one specifically is the vegetarian tinga, cool. which is uh, shredded carrot, onions, and uh, chipotle. Yeah. Topped with shredded lettuce, fres queso fresco, and crema fresca. And it's very good. I can vouch for that. <laughs> the, the, the veggie tinga is very, very good. Right, here we got a burrito. Yeah, this is our choriqueso burrito. It's made from our uh, own artisanal uh, house-made chorizo, and uh, very uh, a lot of cheese. It's almost like a cheesy fondue burrito. Wow. It's and it's all protein. We actually don't use a lot of fillers. It's mostly the chorizo, the cheese, and then our diced onions, tomatoes, and our uh, and our uh, a little bit of our pureed black beans. Yeah, that is straight protein right there. That yeah. is that looks awesome. Yeah. Okay, and last but not least, we have... This is our guacolote. It's a Mexican torta nice. that ha is made... You can either have it with cecina or asada. Asada is our steak strip. Cecina is the same thing in the Tampiqueña. Mm -hmm. And then it has two chalupas, which are uh, like these thick, small uh, tortillas made from mixed raw masa dough. Okay. It has a special uh, fresh uh, green salsa that we add to it that we only use it for this sandwich slices of avocado, uh, fresh cream, fresh cheese, lots of melted cheese. It's very, very good. I actually haven't seen this sandwich anywhere else in Toronto. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we are in for a treat. This looks absolutely exceptional to say the least. So let's just dig on in, dive in, see what we got. I'm excited and uh, let's eat some food. All right. So let's, uh, I mean, let's start with the Tape Kenya. I think it looks good. So we got the Cecina. This is my first time having Cecina, so pretty cool. Got the beans, enchiladas, the rice. I'm just gonna try it by itself first. Looks like a nice piece of meat. Mmm. Like asthma saying, very soft, very tender cut. It is salty, like I said, so there's a little bit of salt to it, but not an uncomfortable amount by any means. Kind of reminds me of like a veal in a way. Have some of this lovely looking enchilada. Mm. Beautiful salsas on that. Love the flavor. Mm. 
Moi bien. Encore. Mm. That's a big. Mm. That was a very nice bite. And just kept getting better and better as it went on. Really complimentary. Got kind of a creaminess with a little bit of chili heat. Not heat, but chili flavor. Maybe such a lot of. Those beans have again like a lovely, almost like a, almost a little like a smoked, smoky kind of smoked pepper flavor. Not spicy, but I love that kind of deep. I don't know, I always classify it or relate to like chipotle flavor. Just very, very, very delectable. Mm. What can I say? Very good. Surprisingly enough, children, little children, love our beans. I like them too. Yeah, but it's, you know how children usually don't like things that, like children, infants, little kids, love, love our beans. I think she's calling me a kid. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's important that we all say yeah, that high stuff. I'll take that. Sometimes I feel old. I feel old a lot. Hashtag. They always say you're only as old as you feel. They say age is just a number. It's only old as you feel. And I always look at people and say, so I'm like 65? Well, at least I hope our food makes you feel young. It makes me feel alive, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's Delicious. Good. That's good. Really, 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 really nice flavors though. And shout out on the beans. They have to be brief. They are very good. Love that salsa, that salsa go home. I'm gonna leave the rice. We have some more items to get to. Let me help you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Alright, I'm gonna try this burrito. So the, it's a cherry queso, I believe it was. It sounds like chorizo and queso, which is cheese. And chorizo. So this is huge. This is like, so they're saying, uh, you know, a very tr uh, traditional Mexican burrito, which apparently in North Mexico burrito is a part thing. No lettuce. It's not the same like, you know, a North American burrito. This is basically just meat protein. So, and this thing is dense and heavy. Wow. That is like, that is a pack of, that is a pack of mouthful. Mm. Meat, cheese. A little bit of like a, a little bit of, I don't know, like a pepper, a little bit of onion in there. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, like a pico in a way. A little bit of heat from something though. Mm. Man, there is so much cheese in that. So much cheese. Really nice flavor on it though. You get that chorizo bite, like the cheese the chorizo they're making here. Salsa is really nice as well. Mmm. Oh boy, that salsa. That one tastes like a chipotle. Got a smoky pepper. Very, 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 very good. This is a packed burrito though. Absolutely huge. Giant. That is a big burrito. I'm gonna sure, make sure I get through these other things. So let's try this quesadilla. So yeah, this is really cool. They're making them with their own corn here. They're making it all themselves. Queso fresco, cream. Um, you can basically choose your filling. This is the uh, pollo poblano, so the chicken and peppers. Mm. 
That's the quesadilla. It's very good. Thank you. Wow, yeah, that, that like that corn. That like corn flour, you guys were like that that makes a difference. So where this is so different. I mean, traditional kind of North American quesadilla. Is that just uses generally like a flour tortilla? This is more like a. It's like a corn dough cooked around it. There's a dish. I think it's Venezuelan. Oh my gosh, let me. Th uh, a papusa. This reminds me of like a pupusa. So it's kind of like a warm flour dough, which is formed around the meat, around the filling. Mm. Got that other corn in there. This is fantastic. Mm. Lots of cheese in this one as well. But this is very good. Next, let's try this sopa. So this is like, basically, generally from my understanding, refried greens pressed in between like corn flour, and then, but I've only ever seen them like this big in Mexico. This one's giant. But again, they obviously make them here, as she said. Now here as well, what is really interesting, this is the veggie tinga. So I had some tacos here and I had tried this veggie tinga and it was very good. So it's like a chicken tinga, that's a very common thing. Um, pollo, what is it, pollo? Pollo de ting, pollo, pollo ting, pollo de tinga? Now I forget the Spanish version, but chicken tinga. And this was very, very good with the veggie version, believe it or not. So this one looks like cut open. See the different layers? Got the beans on there. Got the corn, excuse me, corn flour. Then the flavored vegetables. Very nice, very soft. The veggie tinga is a very interesting idea. It's really just like carrots and onions and stuff. because it carries the spices and flavors very well. Carrots are kind of being like a bit of a sweeter vegetable. Which I'm learning they're also very like malleable in the fact of its flavor profile. Because <laughs> you don't taste carrot at all. I wouldn't know this was carrot unless they told me it was carrot. They also have to cook the silly called Dante. It feels a texture. Which helps to give a very like satiating mouthfeel. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. The kind of gist to get from this sopa. It feels very comforting. That's kind of the way I'm going with it. I guess where to put it. It's a very comforting dish. Bring up my Diet Coke. Not sponsored, but Coke, if they ever want to sponsor me. Like I said, my contact info is down below. I'll definitely entertain it. Give you a heck of a deal for a you know, billion dollar company. All right, where are we again? Sopa. Enjoying the comforting warmth. That's kind of the way I put it. I just feel relaxed. I feel very relaxed eating this. That's, that's kind of what it's at. Relaxed. The 
It's just warming. That's it. Warming. And those beans on too. Woo! They're hella good. Don't think I'm gonna get tired of eating those things. All right, next we have the guajalote, which is a Mexican torta. What I learned from going to Mexico is tacos and tortas are everywhere. And they're, I can understand why, they're very delicious. So essentially what a torta is, more or less, is a sandwich. Generally though, it is kind of like grilled a little bit, like a little bit of a grilled sandwich. In this one, we have a large variety of stuff. We have not only chalupas, we have their own special sausage they make here only, exclusively for this torta. I don't know how to pick this up. It's very, it's very, there we go. Ooh, it is very, wow, we got all kinds of nice, warm juiciness. My, this looks just, this looks epic. Looks epic. Just look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Avocado, everything was just, I'm just excited. This looks just, that's it. Let's just try it. Mm. There's a lot of flavors going on there. So the interesting, so the first thing I'm getting is like the flavors of the bread. You know, like, you know, very like, I'm gonna list the flavors as they come to my palate. Bread, chili, like from that green salsa, that like green salsa kind of flavor that they, they said it's like a thicker green, kind of that green tomato, salsa verde. Then you start getting into the deeper, saltier aspects. You get like that meat, you get that cheese coming out of it. You get the corn. This is a very complex sandwich, which is impressive because generally sandwiches aren't complex. Yeah, it's like the more I sit on it, how much each bite I get, just an increasing dynamic. This is crazy. We believe that food has to be a symphony in your mouth mm. and that you have to have a variety of textures as well. So in a bite, you have to be able to have a variety, a symphony of flavors in one bite. We always try to go for that. We may not always get it bang on, but that's what we go for. A symphony is a good way to put it. I would definitely say there's a symphony going out of my mouth. Specifically, box cello suite number one. Do, 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 do. Let me know down below if you know that song. If you don't, it's probably the song you heard on Daredevil, that TV show, when like the bad guy was around. So you don't, you definitely know it, you just don't know it. But maybe I'll play it right now. But yeah, there's a lot going on in sandwich. That's why I was like, I can't believe I didn't get it. Like a symphony, yeah. you're right. That is like uh, a definite Mexican torta. Yeah. Where is it? It's like, is this more like a certain region of Mexico dish? Uh, yeah, actually, it's a particular region. I, it escapes me now because I, I, I'm horrible with names. But it is, it's a particular, most tortas have a region, a region that, they, that they come from. Um, so there are, uh, you know, from different, and we have, we've done quite a few of the, the tortas. Uh, but right now, this is the one we're showcasing. We have our mainstays like our carnitas tortas, asada tortas, you know, the more uh, the well known. And then uh, every once in a while, we'll do like a, we'll spotlight a torta that we will only have maybe for a couple of weeks or months. And then we'll move on to another one because there's so many. There's a torta ahogada, there, there's so many different types of tortas from different regions. What was that? I can vouch that the carnitas are exceptional. I'm sure it'd be great on torta. 
And this is very exceptional. It's like I said, the dynamic of this sandwich, the complexity is crazy. It kind of has me like, almost at a loss for words. Like I said, there's just always so much going on there. That's good. No plants. Like I said, definitely something I was not expecting in a torta. When I think of a torta, generally I think of it being very straightforward. And that was cool. That was really unique. I liked that a lot. And now we're going, I think, I think maybe, I don't want to jinx it. I was going to say maybe going for simplicity, but nothing else has been like, everything has just been a symphony in my mouth. Don't worry, that sounds totally normal. Anyway, so let's go to this, the guacamole, which is one of the favorite items. And I am very excited to find out why. I see we have some tomatoes, some onions, some cilantro, seems very, like, sound like a pico, very uh, definitely chunky, chunky guac. Oh. That is a solid, 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 heavy hit and guac. Oh my gosh. Mm. Avocados are perfectly ripe. Do you guys add anything else to it? It's all, I think it's because we use, one, we use quality. I, I know everybody says quality fresh ingredients, but I think it is that. Yeah. Um, and I, I find that some people just order our <laughs> yeah. I've known people that have been my customers since the day we opened, and that's literally all they eat is guac. Um, and I know often people ask me which is which are the favorite, the, the most favorite uh, items on your menu that people mm -hmm. most order. And when I tell them guac, they're like, ah, I'm like, really? And actually, our nachos as well. I should have mentioned those. So part, because people assume, oh, it's just guac or it's just nachos, but it's surprisingly delicious. It's surprisingly different. It's and a it's a heavy hitting guac. Like like I said, I asked if there's anything else in this because I don't think I've ever had such. I think it's because it's fresh. When you yeah. order it, that's when we cut into the avocado. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, we don't compromise on that. We don't, I think, and, and I think there are, um, the food industry has become very commercialized. Yeah. Um, and I think now there are a lot of pre-made guac. So oh, I think 100%. people buy that, well, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a business, it's an industry. So the other industries or businesses purchase the pre-made guac. Right, and they have it refrigerated. It comes pre-made in like these um, packages, and then they squeeze it out. Um, I, and I know this because when I first started my restaurant, and I was going to buy to try to find um, uh, distributors or providers uh, for meats and chicken and all the other spices, etc., 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 someone actually said to me, "Oh, I have the mole that everybody is using." And I'm like, "What do you mean the mole that everybody's using? I don't, I don't. <laughs> that doesn't compute." Yeah. Right? I'm like, because mole, I know, you know, um, my mother uh, owned restaurants in Mexico, right? My mother's extremely, extremely demanding and exacting. And she has a very, very refined, her taste buds are, oh, yeah. yeah, her palate is crazy. Um, and she can actually taste things and tell you it has this, this, this. So I know mole, you know, you choose the dry peppers, the, the cinnamon, everything, and then some some things are boiled, some things are steamed, some things are toasted, mm -hmm. some then some are ground, and you know you have to grind it and the lava stone. And so when he told me we have the mole that everybody's using, that was to me I, I couldn't uncomprehend because I know and every mole is different depending on the family from one corner to the next. Right. Everybody has their own mole. 
So I was just flabbergasted yeah. like that. And he's like, all the Mexican restaurants use them. I was like, what? Yeah, like, no. Like, no, no, no. I need to know, do you have, you know, true cinnamon? Do you have guajillo? Do you have, and the pepper said, oh, so you want the actual, actual? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Probably the first time I've ever said you need to try a restaurant's guac, but you need to try this guac. It's crazy. I have never, ever, ever had anything like that. So the guac is very, very delicious. Had so many other delicious items here today. Um, like the torta was fantastic. That burrito was crazy. I don't even know if I'm the, uh, maybe I'll finish it in a bit. This thing is a heavy hit burrito. Huge, 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 dense, dense burrito. But yeah, that's just like all these dishes were fantastic. They uh, kind of rotate through menu items. So like she said, that's the torture they're featuring right now. I look forward to when they bring back the mole. I'm gonna come back. I love I love mole. I'm a big mole person. And we make ours from scratch. So. And like, so you can't get any better than that. Um, fun fact, I've only ever had mole in Mexico. Um, so I'm excited to try your mole because I know it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. But yeah, seriously, such a great food, great experience, great staff. Great place. So Northern Toronto, you want some real, really, real, real authentic Mexican food. Um, they also have Bidia. They have all kinds of different tacos. Uh, I was lucky enough to try a number of them. If that video is out, I'll put, pin it in a uh, comment down below. Definitely don't miss out that. Let's say we ate a lot, a lot, a lot of tacos. But very, very good. So they have burritos, tortas, sopas, guacamole, whatever it may be. I'm super impressed. The, uh, actually, you know what else was really amazing? That the uh, the quesadilla. Like I said, never had a quesadilla with that kind of like corn flour, that warm corn flour on the outside. It was a totally different item than like a North American quesadilla. Like I said, very fantastic. So that's about it. Come by, definitely try the carnitas. The best carnitas I've ever had. All the meats are very very good. Those carnitas, carnitas are very very nice. Oh, and the shrimp tacos are fantastic as well. But everybody, hope you get yourself some good food. Have a lovely day. That's about it. Just have a lovely day. Have a lovely life. Live it. Love it. Make the most of it. Say so you got only one life to live and all that good stuff. So I'm going to eat some guac. You're going to have a lovely day. Until next time, happy eating. Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.